hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make super delicious carrot halwa with only one glass of milk without any khoya or mawa or milk cream it's the easiest and simplest way to make carrot halwa and it will be so delicious to eat so guys let's see the recipe here i'm taking about 750 grams of carrots and they are bright red in color as you can see now it's winter season and red carrots are available in the market so i'm taking red carrots for a bright red color of the halwa after peeling them off i washed them properly and grated them with a big grater i'm showing you the grater don't use so small size grater for this halwa and now we are going for the main process so guys for making carrot halwa i have taken a frying pan and i am adding some ghee ghee means clarified butter i am using only one and a half tablespoons of ghee now we need to let the ghee heat well and after that we will add the carrots i mean the grated carrots so i am spreading the ghee in the frying pan and now i am adding the grated carrots After adding the carrots, we need to add some salt. 2 pinches of salt I am adding for 750 grams of carrots. Don't add too much salt for this recipe because we are going to make sweet halwa, sweet dish. So, don't add too much salt but a little pinch of salt will increase the taste of the sweet. After mixing everything nicely, I covered the frying pan and now in between, I am uncovering the pan and stirring the carrots nicely and now covering it again. So after about 10 to 12 minutes now it is the texture so much water was released from the carrots and now it's dried up and now the carrots are fully cooked 100% cooked with the self water. So now I am going to add some milk I am taking one glass of boiled milk with the milk cream so I am adding it. If you want to add some khoya or mawa in this recipe, you may add it. But today I am going to make a plain gajar halwa with only milk. So after adding milk, I mixed it nicely and now I am going to add some dry fruits. I have taken some cashews, almonds and some raisins. You may take any kind of dry fruits as you like, there is no problem. And now I am adding half teaspoon of green cardamom powder. I am mixing it nicely and along with all of the things I am going to add some sugar also because the carrots are fully cooked now so there is no problem to add sugar now. Instead of sugar you may add jaggery if you like there is no problem and you may change the quantity of sugar or jaggery according to your taste. I am adding half cup of sugar now and at the end of this recipe I will check the taste and I will add more sugar if needed. So now I am going to cook the halwa without lid until the milk is dried up. So now this is the texture. Now it's your turn to decide the consistency of the halwa. Dry it up up to the consistency you like of this halwa. And now it's time to check the sweetness of the halwa. Check it and add more sugar if needed. I also tasted it and it's fully perfect for me. I don't need any extra sugar. So I'm turning the heat off and serving the halwa. But now it's not the time to eat the halwa. We need to let it cool down fully and after that I am going to keep it in the fridge for some time and after that I am going to enjoy it. If you are adding some extra sugar at the end of this recipe, the consistency will be thin again and you need to dry it up again for another some time. So guys try this simple recipe of carrot halwa in this winter season and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.